how to reduce my stress. When I first started coaching, I was focusing on executive coaching and management coaching. And then I moved into the area of anxiety and stress reduction. It's kind of my sweet spot. And the reason that I moved into that area is because I was diagnosed with clinical anxiety disorder and I wanted to develop ways to deal with it, to flow with it, reduce my anxiety naturally because I didn't want to uh, sentence myself to a lifetime of depending on chemicals to keep my brain in a more relaxed state. So today I'm going to talk to you about the four things that I implemented into my life to control and I believe obliviate my anxiety disorder. Uh, and this can work for you no matter what the source of your stress and anxiety is. So I really hope that you find this helpful. And if you know anyone who also struggles with stress and anxiety, I hope that you'll share this video with them. Before we get started, will you please check and see if you're a subscriber here because I'm creating content like this and so are our other coaches. We're creating content all the time for you to live a happier and more successful low stress life. So check and see if you're a subscriber and if not, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click the bell so that when you log on to YouTube, YouTube will say, hey, there's another video here to help you have a better life. All right, I'll be right back. Guild Coaching. More success, less stress. We all have stress in our life. The alarm clock goes off, that's a stressor. It wakes you from one state and sends you into another. The telephone rings, you have a notification go off. There's a small stress response that gets your attention. It's why your attention is broken and you focus on that thing. So stress is everywhere. The stress that we're talking about today is unhealthy stress. And about 99% of that unhealthy stress, guess where it comes from? Go look in the mirror and say, hi, source of my stress. It all comes from up here. So what we have to do is come up with solutions that start up here and inside this beautiful thing that only you have control of to help counteract this stress. Stress is the number one leading cause of death by being the number one leading cause, cause of debilitating incurable disease. So if that's not motivation to lower your stress, I don't know what I can tell you. All right, so first let's, th this, is, this is a four part solution to reducing your stress. And you can take notes here in the comment section if you want or, or write them down. You'll retain more of the information if you are taking notes. Okay, first let's think about what, if you don't want stress, what do you want? The opposite of it, yeah? So the opposite of stress is relaxation. So you have to do regularly, not just when you're feeling the stress, but regular, regularly work into your schedule relaxation exercises. Relaxation exercises are very, very simple, and I'm going to teach you a quick one right now. It really is just a breathing exercise. So when you do this relaxation exercise, it will lower your heart rate. So when you're under stress, your heart rate goes up. Your tension comes in your body. So this will re reduce that heart rate, take it back to a nice resting heart rate. It will reduce the tension in your body and it will start to signal to your brain to release the hormones that are opposite of the stress hormones. So your relaxation hormones, if you will. All right, so we're gonna do this together. Just sit comfortably. If you are in a position, if you're not like driving a car or something listening to this, if you're in a position to close your eyes, you can close your eyes and just breathe in deeply. We're gonna to count to five as we breathe in. So breathe in through your nose, down to your belly for one, two, three, four, five. Hold it and breathe out very slowly through your nose to a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. You can do that again. You can even elongate it and make it six. So we'll do it for six. I didn't count that time so that I could actually do it. <laughs> that is called box breathing. If you breathe in for five, hold for five, breathe out for five, hold out for five, breathe in for five, hold for five, out for five, hold out for five. That's called box breathing because it's the same length for each one. Just breathing in for five, holding for just a second and breathing out also helps you very, very much. What happens is your lungs expand fully and there's the vagus nerve that goes straight down your spine. It actually massages that and that is the nerve 
that signals those relaxation responses or anti-stress responses to release in your brain. It's actually chemicals that your brain releases into your body, either stress chemicals or relaxation chemicals. Okay, so that's something that you can do when you're feeling acute stress, or you can just build it into your daily routine. Every time, you know, I've got a clock that bongs, you may have heard like something <laughs> making noise in the back of some of my videos. It bongs at the top and bottom of each hour. And every single time I've got that as a trigger signal for me to just take deep breaths. You can have different things. Anytime that you hear a siren, if you're, if you're in the middle of a big city or you hear a horn honk, just, oh, every time I hear one of these things, I'm going to take a few nice deep breaths and just bring that relaxation into my body. All right, number two, stretching your muscles is pivotal in reducing your anxiety. Muscles tense up under stress, so you can relieve that tension by stretching. While you're sitting or standing, inhale, raise your arms over your head, lace your fingers together, stretch, release your fingers, exhale as you lower your arms. Uh, you can do that two, three, four, five times. Another thing that I really like to do personally is ball my fists really, really tight. So bring a lot of stress into those muscles and then splay them out like jazz hands and then piano fingers and do that several times while I'm breathing. That is a great way, especially if you sit at a desk all day, that is a great way to relieve tension in your hands. Take a mindfulness break and build mindfulness into your day. Being mindful helps elicit the relaxation response by bringing you into the present moment and it breaks a cycle of stressful thoughts. I like to do this, I really love warm herbal tea and I like to do this whenever I'm drinking tea. So I'll have my nice warm cup of tea and I'll just close my eyes and I'll feel the warm cup in my hand. I'll feel the steam coming off of it. I'll inhale very deeply and note the different scents that are in the tea. I will just really pay attention to what's going on in that moment. That's really all mindfulness is. It's pausing, turning this thing off, and noticing what's around you. Just noticing. So just do it for just a second. I'll, I'll shut up for a second. What do you see? What do you hear? What are the sensations in your body? simple. Mindfulness is an incredible tool for reducing your stress and you should, in my opinion, build it into your daily routine. Five to ten minutes of mindfulness meditation in the morning will help train your brain to live in a more relaxed state. And honestly, that and that alone, I believe, is the key to my success in breaking free from clinical anxiety disorder. So, Clinical anxiety disorder is a medically diagnosed condition, and it's more than, oh, I'm just feeling stress in this moment. It means that your brain is predisposed to a higher resting anxiety rate, kind of like a resting heart rate, but it's a resting anxiety rate, so you're more tense, you're more tense. So building mindfulness into my day has been just the key to everything. So it's very, very important. And if you need help building mindfulness into your day, check out our recordings here. We've got a whole playlist of recorded mindfulness sessions, affirmations, meditations, all sorts of things like that. And number four, I want you to start walking, but not just sauntering around. You can do mindfulness walks, which means that you're walking at a comfortable pace, you're looking around, you're noticing everything silently without any music distractions or cell phones going off or whatever. That's beautiful. But research shows that 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week significantly reduces your stress responses. And we all need this. So what I like to say is walk as though you're late for something. You're gonna get your heart rate up. You might sweat a little bit. You might get a, a you know a little a little bit heavier breathing. But walk like you're late for something, for 30 minutes, five times a week. It's 30 minutes, and you might actually be going somewhere with this walk. So that would be ideal if you're walking anyway. But three to five times a week, 30 minutes walk like you're late for something. That's a, how I would define a brisk walk. This four part strategy is the solution that I've used and that I've guided hundreds of people through to reduce their anxiety. And I know that it can work for you if you use it. 
If this video has been of help to you, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button and the bell so you learn the next time we drop a video like this to help you live a happier, more fulfilling life.